Hi guys, Will. Just time prepping. How you guys doing this morning? Hey, we're going to do a little box opening here. I already opened it because he, there was a lot of tape on it. So, we'll just go from the opening part to now. <laughs> a while back, I won a drawing from a gentleman called, his channel name is Mo Mello Leather. <clears throat> he didn't tell me what he was sending me, so... What we opened up today is going to be a surprise, not only for me, but for you guys, too. So let's get to it, okay? <clears throat> I took all the packing wrapping off. I gave the bubble wrap to the kid because he goes crazy over it. <clears throat> now we're going to dip into the box, and the first thing I pulled out is a flag. Good old USA flag. I love the USA. Go, go, go. Next thing in there, it looks like, is... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, iron worker sticker. Momello is a iron worker. <coughs> Excuse me. I was an iron worker for several years, so I'm pretty sure that's why I've got this sticker. That's <coughs> what this is. Rodbuster ties in a flash. Uh, let's see what it says. Uh, get it out of there. Uh, sticker. Oh, mellow leather. Look at there. Oh, that's a nice little sticker. Get it up there for you guys. Nice little sticker, Mo Mello. I like it. It'll go on the sticker board. And then this is uh, another sticker. It says, Work safe, brother. Mo Mello. So, it's just a sticker. It's a safety sticker, it looks like. Work safe sticker. Okay, let's get. Oh, we got a big thing in here. Look at this. Holy cow. Holy cow, what is that? It's a bottle of something, hold on. That's what it looks like right now. Gee, I don't have my knife up here. I should have, I have a razor knife though, that'll work. Oh, this bottle. <laughs> there, we go. there we go. Hot sauce. Oh yeah. I love hot sauce. I hope it's a good kind. It's Gonzales. And then it... Oh man, it's got the good stuff in it too. Nutritional facts. <laughs> Zero nutritional facts, but I bet it makes you open up a new uh, area in the mornings. <laughs> you know what I mean. Thank you so much. More bubble wrap for the kid. Uh, we got a leather blank. This is for a belt. He's a leather worker the same as I am. It's a heavy duty leather too, so it's going to be good for a project I have in mind. Should fit perfect for what I have in mind. Oh yeah, it's a pretty nice belt, nice cowhide. It's gonna make make uh, this project perfect for what I have in mind. I was wondering how I was gonna do that, whether I was gonna have to split uh, cowhide or wood. Put that over there out of the way. Better put this knife away before I hurt myself. Oh yeah, here's a intermission. Here's the knot for today. See if you guys know what this one is. It's a pretty easy knot to make. 
It's a cinching knot. You uh, cinch it around something so that you can heave it up to high areas. Like say you were going to build a house or something or a cabin. You can cinch this around the log or something. And then you can take the long end and you just start pulling it over a limb or something to get it up in the air. Guys, make sure that you check it out. And let me know what you think it is and I'll tell you if you're right or not. Pretty handy little knot there. That comes in handy for a lot of things. All right, oh, here's the belt buckle for that uh, belt, which is perfect. Perfect. The project is starting to come to fruition. All right, here's what else we got. Oh man, we got seeds. Pumpkin seeds. Antonio's. I think we will just put these in the ground and see what they do. Maybe we'll have jack-o'-lanterns coming out of our gazoos. Thanks, Momello. <coughs> Some more seeds. Oh, these are corn. Crispy corn. Woohoo! Crispy corn. I love crispy corn. That'll be by my chair. Super duper. These are really good. Let's see. Man, he got a lot of stuff in here. There's a little something right here. Oh, more bubble wrap. Oh, a leather working tool. Uh, I don't know if you guys are very leather noticeable or savvy, whatever they want to call it. This here is something that you run across. You guys have seen me do it. I've shown you. You can run this around the edge. You know that edging tool I use going around. It leaves a little groove in there. Go behind it with this tool, and it marks out where the holes go so that when you go to punch the holes, they are all in the exact same place so you don't make a mistake. Very nice tool. Thanks, Momello. I don't have, I was just looking at it, I don't have one that has uh, stitching that close together, so that's going to come out pretty handy for me, thanks. Okay, last thing in here. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, man. You don't want to know. Whew, this is cool looking here now. Ship me a knife. It's a mossy oak knife, but it's a knife, and it's a fixed blade knife. Let's get it out of there so we can see, okay? Oh, my. Oh, yeah, look at there. Look at that knife. Oh, <laughs> you guys got to know what we're going to be doing with this, huh? That's a nice little handle, too. It's, uh... Looks like a walnut. Nice little knife. Fits the hand really good. Got the spine back on it. Has uh, the little thing you put your hand in here to make sure that you're not slipping off of your whatever you're cutting. And it's made by Mossy Oak. That's a pretty nice looking little knife there, guys. Of course, I don't like <coughs> these very well because I'm a leatherman, but we'll fix that. You guys know how I am. Oh, cool stuff. All of it is very cool. I'm going to try to put it all here so you guys can see it. Try to put it all down here, and then you guys are going to be able to see it. Yeah, get this leather bubble wrap down out of the way here. Oh my gosh, man, you really got me going here, bud. Try to get all this stuff up here to see. I want to make sure you are showing what a great supporter you are. I'm going to get it up here and then I'm going to 
pan the camera down there, you guys. I want you guys to see everything that he gave me here. You guys gotta get over there and check this guy out. He is a super awesome, awesome guy. <clears throat> He does some awesome work. He does leather work for uh, iron workers. He's an iron worker himself. So he knows exactly what they need to do their job with, and he makes sure that it's going to hold up for whatever they have in mind for uh, that to uh, tool. So let's try to get this all up here so you can see it. And I am not going to put the belt up there because, well, I can, I guess. Uh, just have to roll it up. That's going to make a perfect belt for what I have in mind, too, Mo Mello. I don't know if I... He must have been watching my videos where I've been telling you about the Bowie knife that I've got to make a sheath for. And I have held it up on my hip here, and it's way too long for my short little legs. So I thought I would make one that was a back sheath where you could just pull, pull it up and out like this. And this will help me put the... The strapping on there to keep it from moving around on your body so yeah I've been thinking about that but I've got all this other paid stuff I've got to get done first all right let's see if we can get it done here all right hold on I'm gonna move the camera so it might be kind of look at all that stuff all that stuff that he sent just for entering this contest, I mean, look at it. I mean, look. It is awesome, all of it. There's not anything there that I cannot, I cannot use. I'm serious. I mean, whoops. Let me get this over here. There we go. That's so you guys can see it. All right. Thanks so much, Mo Mello. I also got another mail call. <coughs> It was just an expected mail call. I had to cover that up so you can see it, but all it was, it's not really, it is really something important, but all it was was a pattern that old man, old man sent me because I'm going to make a sheath for his cleavers, so he sent me the pattern for it. I just want him to know that I got it, and uh, it's going to be an easy squeezy but special. I make it special just for you, old man. Everything I make has a little twist on it just so that it's a one-of-a-kind for whoever I work for. That way <coughs> they can't see something else. <coughs> Excuse me. Can't see something else out there that uh, is exactly like theirs. It kind of makes it special for each and every one of them. So that's what I try to do my leather work for. And it's kind of uh, spendy work anyway, you know. Yeah, it costs a lot, but it'll last forever. So, uh, if you could just put that little extra I caught signature on there so that you'll never, whoever it's for will never find another one like it. And uh, so that uh, when they're sporting it, they can say, I didn't get this at Walmart, and I didn't get it at uh, Menards out there, or I didn't get it up there at the... Uh, uh, gun store. I got it from this guy that uh, does leather work and it's going to last me the rest of my life. So, those are the kinds of things that I like. So, anyway, uh, that's the mail call for today, guys. And I guess it's good enough because by the time I get this edited and everything, it's going to be uh, 15 20 minutes. About, and that's about where I like to stay at for you guys. So, till next time, you guys, I want you guys to know that I love each and every one of you. You guys are my family now. Uh, we call ourselves the Monkey Rich Crew. And I'm trying to get some hats made. I've set the design into them twice. But when I get it right, we'll have a little ball cap that you can wear around. And when people are saying, what the heck is a Monkey Rich Crew? You can say, I'm a moderator for Just In Time Prepping on YouTube. A little something for you to think about. Food for thought. All right. Till next time, guys. You know, it's God bless you and it's God bless me. God bless USA. Thanks for watching. I'll see you out there.